A Colorado man is suing both Pueblo and Teller counties, claiming they violated his civil rights by keeping him in jail for nearly two months before he finally got to see a judge. Michael Bailey was arrested two years ago by deputies in Teller County on an open warrant from Pueblo. New tonight at 6, Andy Cohen tells us that Bailey is seeking damages here, Andy. He certainly is, Elizabeth. The Pueblo DA's office ultimately dropped those criminal charges against Mr. Bailey, but his lawyers from the American Civil Liberties Union and the private civil rights firm Kilmer Lane say that his prolonged jail stay cost him his job and his pay, so now they want economic damages for the lost pay and punitive damages for the way he was treated by those two counties. Two years ago, Michael Bailey spent 45 days in the Teller County Jail and then another week behind bars in Pueblo before he finally got to see a judge for first appearance and bond setting. So much time had gone by, the judge said, quote, he should have been advised. It's an old enough case. How is this a first appearance? Bailey's lawyers point out that the state constitution requires sheriffs to bring defendants to the nearest available county courts without unnecessary delay. But instead, they claim that Teller County simply sent a message through state crime computers to Pueblo to come pick him up. They also believe Pueblo is responsible because the deputy in charge of transportation didn't have a policy to regularly check those crime computer messages. And they've also named the dispatcher in their suit who confirmed the warrant to the arresting officer. They say she knew their client was stuck behind bars but never told her supervisors. The ACLU's lawyer said in a statement that people have complained to them about issues like this for years and that they believe it contributes to jail overcrowding. Now, the lawyer who is defending all the parties in this case told us that they're still in the early stages of this litigation and are formulating an appropriate response. The judge in the case has given the counties a deadline of February the 6th to file that legal response. Both sides are all supposed to meet in court for a scheduling conference in early March. Rob? Andy, thanks.